it's Saturday, so that means I only have a few minutes to make a video. So, what should I do it on? What about this guy right here? This is a device called Battery Go BG-8S. And it's essentially a battery monitor uh, that also has balancing features. Uh, this thing right here, th this company right here that makes it also has uh, kind of a custom XT60 connector that has an extra pin in there. And then that uh, you should be able to connect it here and then it knows stuff about the battery. It keeps history about the battery and what, you know, I don't know, like the details of the battery, the capacity, the cycle count, all this other stuff, right? That, so I'm not gonna use that because I don't have a battery that has that chip. And so the only thing that we're gonna be talking about is the uh, monitoring and the balancing feature, right? So here's uh, so here's a PCB that I'm playing with. This is a 7S battery holder made by Web Learning, right? He sent me uh, a link to his boards that he's designing, and I ordered them, and then I ordered all the parts to make it. There are some good stuff. There's some bad stuff. I don't like these holders. They're too close in here, right? To there's just way too many uh, ways that these holders can short out, right? But there are some cool stuff about this board, like, for example, the fact that uh, it can be shorted out. Um, the fact that, like, it should be, sh it can be shorted out here and here or here to make a 3S, 4S, 5S, or a 7S, right? Like, you can incrementally do that. Now, I'm trying these new connectors. These are called, like, IDC, which are, like, these pressure things that go on there. Um, these are through hole connectors, but I put them on the side of the board here and they kind of work. Look at that. So that means that there are two of these wires that carry this a single pin, right? And then you can use those over here. I did a little adapter so I can use it. So this is, this right here is the cell log eight. And this for many, many years was popular and actually this is a version that doesn't have logging but there are other versions that used to have a uh, usb here and you used to be able to plug it in to a computer and then uh download the logs it would log like battery information like you know sag and time and temperature not temperature uh voltage all this other stuff all the parameters of the battery it will log them into internal memory and then you would be able to take them off i don't really use them for logging i just use them for um monitoring i like the fact that the they show you graphically here the state of charge uh the voltage right uh of each cell it does up to eight in this case i have seven because it's a 24 volt thing uh it's very very nice right uh it gives you an alarm when it goes past a certain uh parameters if the batteries get too low or the batteries get too high or too, too wide separated from each other, then it'll alert you via a, a tiny little, uh, I don't know, chime. It has a little alarm that goes on there. And this cable right here, it's to, uh, when the alarm goes off, you can also program it so that it does something. Like for example, it will can trigger an external switch that can, you know, uh, trigger a uh, contactor or a relay or something. It can disconnect your battery from the source. It can do all kinds of things, right? So this is actually a pretty cool thing. The problem is that, well, it's now discontinued. Uh, it's whatever is out there, that's all that's there. And if you can find these, I'd say get them because uh, that's it. There's not going to be more. And, I, you know, I have a, a few of them that I use from time to time they're great but now that they're discontinued that means that we're gonna have to start using something like this this is about twice the price this used to be about $15 this is about $30 now yeah I think you can find it cheaper on China in China but you know it takes forever to come so let's test it out um, all right here we go I just connected it right here and um, there you go. Let's remove cell number one. Uh, it gives you like a little thing. Oh, look at that. 
So now this is cell one. What? Oh, that's cool. The other one would all just give you. Oh, okay. So if you remove cell one and two, then it doesn't work. It just stops working. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Tell so you cell one and two and eight are not around. Okay, says num cell number one is 14 volts. Why is that? That's that's not correct. Uh, it says the battery is 39 volts. Come on, it's, these cells can't even make that much. Okay, let's see here. Let's put on. There we go. So there, there's a red light. I don't know what that means. That means like it's a. Here we go. All right, so if you connect it, all the batteries are in there, it's fine. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, going through the menus, there's obviously that one that's really interesting to me, the cell balance. USB charge, I think you can charge stuff via USB, which is interesting. Low voltage alarm, battery type, alarm tone single, receiver tester. System information, let's click on that one. Oh, that's just nothing, that's just the thing. Volume. Backlight. Language. Okay, so there's not a lot of stuff here. I, I wish this one would change the thing like more like this, and it would show seven rows this way instead of that. I don't know, I, I like a more uh, vertical than horizontal but it seems like this one's only vertical all right so then what you can do uh, does it tell you the Delta yeah so it tells you the Delta here is 18 millivolts so these cells are fairly um, balanced let's put some other cells I have these other cells here that are less balanced I think or let's throw an individual. Let's just throw another cell in here. There we go. This, this is a different color. Maybe it'll be at a different voltage. Alrighty. Alright, dude. Oh, yeah. That's a 4.1. Everything else is a 3.6. Okay. Okay. So that's actually not... Alright. Now let's look at cell balance and then you start. Okay, so that's how that works, right? So now this should be balancing. I don't know why the 8 and the 4, 8 cell and the 4, no, cell number 4 is black when all the other ones are red. Does that mean is burning voltage, is burning uh, energy off of those cells? Did, did I just stop that? I think I just did. All right, there we go. Uh, so now there's 454 millivolt difference, right? So that's how you use this. I actually loaded up this earlier with different cells and I uh, did a time lapse to see, you know, how good it would do. All right, here's what is happening. I took s these seven cells, charged them all the way to 4.2 volts and then I took six of them and discharged exactly one amp power. What you're seeing here is all the cells that have one amp power less than cell number four, right? And so hopefully what this battery go device will do is start burning the energy off of that one cell that has one amp power more. Now this is a very, very extreme case. One amp power is a lot of energy to burn. And so I also wanted to see at what rate it does it. So hopefully by timing it and by knowing the exact amount of energy that it needs to, to be burned to get to the other cells, then we'll have a better uh, gauge as to what kind of energy and then how long it would take and how good of a job it does balancing this pack. So let's run this test. Uh, at this point, uh, I figure out how to make the phone stay on for the timer, and so now we can 
see how long this test is going to take. Alright, so as you can see here on hour 15, it kind of got close, they're kind of balanced, but then uh, as you can see here on hour, two hours later at 17.22, it's just all hell broke loose, the batteries are all over the place. So basically it burned 500 milliamp hours from all the other six cells. How much is that? That's 10.8. Eight. Uh, this device is not very efficient. It used 10.8 watt hours of energy trying to balance uh, and burn 3.6 watt hours off of uh, cell number four, right? It did that on all other six cells. And so for that reason, it's not very useful to actually balance packs that are large. Maybe a little one that it's all the way to the top, you know, and there's slight imbalances on each cell then you can use it for that but to run it continuously to balance a pack like on a power wall setting like this or a power pack uh yeah it just it, it won't work all right thanks for watching this video we'll see you guys in the next one and if you want to keep up with all the projects that i'm doing make sure and you join our facebook group there's a link below in the description see you in the next video bye